Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance plus Dead God plus Mega Modded whatever the shibbity you want to call it. Anyways, last time, minus eight streak with tinted lost. Hell yes, the skill ceiling has been reached. No, we're playing as Judas this time around, uh, which scares me just as much because I could die very easily. But Ipecac, Ipecac fixed that bug with planetariums, so... We should hope to not see that bless our game anymore. I'm really hoping it doesn't. I mean, I'll, I'll test it out. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I also did add, um, I think, one, maybe two new mods. Uh, I, I added one that's called like Bits and Bobs, which is like an item pack that someone recommended that has very vanilla style items. So I'm giving that a go. Um, and I've added the anti-birth item pack, which I just didn't have for a long time. I think it's because when it initially came out, I did have it on and it seemed to be causing a lot of lag. That seems to be completely resolved now. I've also learned that just rebooting my PC before I record Isaac seems to mitigate a lot of the lag. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but it must be like when there's a lot of processes running or that have been running on the PC, it just slows it down a little bit. Clicker is a big fat no, thank you. Um, I will not be changing up my character, no way, no how. Um, this could hit me, let's be careful. Oh, come on now. There you go. What? What? Okay, give me a bomb. Oh, do you know what? Lucky Penny's pretty good. Lucky Penny, I'll, I'll actually use this in here because we're guaranteed to get a charge before the boss. I realise that we might end up needing this in the next room, so a little bit scary. Um, just because it's a big room. And it could be an Ipecac big room, which I have actually addressed with the devs. And they did say that they definitely think that the larger rooms need tweaking and tuning. So I'm hoping that that goes down. We could, we can try and uh, use our aggressive Dono machine here. Yes. This is a pretty cool mod that just lets you use uh, donation machines to kill enemies. It's a little bit buggy, as you can see, it's... The game doesn't really like it when it happens, but there you go. Boy, that was successful. <laughs> I think that's a really, really, really cool, uh, really cool mod there. It does seem to have caused some lag, though. I'm hoping that's just for this room. Okay, yeah, it seems to be. Oh, no, it does not. It does not seem to be. We'll see. Okay, this is one of the Ipecac rooms that's... Uh, Mighty saucy, so let's uh, stay alive, stay alive. Ah, ah, ah. I think these rooms are kind of interesting. <coughs> I apologize. Where people play with like the metal blocks and stuff. But I think in the early floors, you don't want rooms that require a lot of running around. It spawns three random hearts, give it a go. Hey, there's a soul heart. Um, You don't want rooms that require too much running around. I don't mind not uh, not being able to use my book on this boss fight. Yeah, the, the light seems to have subsided, actually. I think it's just burning basement funkiness. Um, but there was some glitches going on with the donation, uh, the blood donation, uh, blood bank, whatever you want to call it, blood donation machine. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, aggressive donation machines is a fantastic mod that allows you to use donation machines in pretty interesting ways. It's not always the case that it's going to come up that you'll get rooms like that. But um, that one in particular was pretty nice. Uh, and we get another soul heart. This is pretty good going here. Um, we did, we did just say blue baby. I'll go down to the, uh, the other path though first. One second, I need to cough. My god, don't know where that came from. But I did it. I did the cough. But yes, getting a blood bag early out of pretty awesome <laughs> sources and then, uh, getting ourselves two soul hearts and a fire rate upgrade is pretty good going. We'll grab this. Waspel, we actually proved that Waspel was pretty good last time. But yes, as for the question of the day today, this one's kind of an interesting one. What is the last meaningful conversation you had with someone? What's the last conversation you had with a friend, a family member, just someone that, that really stuck with you, that you really remember and you thought was very helpful, or even just it enlightened you a lot? I don't know. What was the last, like, meaningful conversation you had with someone? Um, to, to be fair, for me, it was with my girlfriend, just, like, half an hour ago. It's what made me think of it. Me and her went to the park for lunch, and we were kind of just talking about um our jobs and the fact that we work in different industries and i kind of learned a bit more about hers and she learned a bit more about mine which sounds stupid because we've been together for a really long time um like eight and a half years and we um we have worked these jobs the entire time we've been with each other since since we got out of school that is uh, since we got out of university so it is a little stupid that I'm, we're only just figuring these things out now or learning about these things now but it was kind of enlightening it was kind of um interesting to learn about 
Right, I will grab this and just hope for the best. Do you know what? That was uh, very, very good. Spicy devil deal. Spicy devil deal. I will take a very spicy devil deal. Thank you very much. I will take a very spicy devil deal. And honestly, we don't have anything else to gain from this floor. Let's just go. I kind of like playing Judas because because you start with such low HP, it makes me more comfortable playing at low HP for the rest of the run. Because it's like, oh, well, not much has changed. <laughs> Dude, Waspel is actually so good. For, for a quality 1 or quality 2, I think he's a quality 1. He is very, very good. He is, like, just on it for us. Uh, card there, I'll grab that. Judgment, potentially useful. I'll see what he gives us. Still waiting for the removal of Water Spouts mod. Sad times, that will never come. I, I, I think it's just not possible. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I have no idea. Um, let's go and destroy the mirror for a bit more reflected items. That's always a, a good shout if I remember to do so. We don't need our bombs for anything. We're not going to the mines. We're not doing the mirror. Um, let's crack this open. Fate's reward. Kind of an interesting one. I think it's a pretty good item, but our tier rates are honestly okay. And honestly, I'm so much, so glad that I took that instead. I think uh, PhD is far, far better. And I'm far, far better off for it. But yeah, it's always nice when you can have, like, a, a really meaningful conversation. Obviously, for me, with it being my girlfriend, you, you hopefully have a lot more meaningful conversations with your significant other. Um, just because otherwise, why are you with them? Um, I mean, you don't have to have only meaningful conversations, but you know what I mean. They, they should mean more to you generally anyways. Um, ooh, every time you use a card or rune, that's pretty good. Now, this guy has a luck penny within him, so I'm, I'm going to have to crack that boy um and this guy could give us a nickel damn it he didn't i kind of want the manuscripts that'd be pretty useful but yeah also just like it's just nice when you have like a, a circle of friends or even just a friend that you can have meaningful conversations with more often um me and me and never named have kind of got into a, a habit of bitching to each other which has been nice let's go with that a little bit of a speed down but we've actually got pretty good speed and we get tears up based on our movement it's a pretty weird item that apparently the dev said is going to get reworked, but right now it's, it's kind of odd. Um, right, let's pop this. Yeah, me and Never Named have kind of... Oh, God, he's eternal. Didn't expect that. Um, I've kind of got into a nice habit of, like, basically venting to each other most days. We just kind of vent our problems. Um, Never Named has significantly more than I do, unfortunately. This is difficult. Uh, just... Just because of the nature of um, him having a few more uh, issues in life in general. But I'm uh, I'm always sort of willing to listen to people. Hmm. That... That is not how I meant that to go. So, if you're wondering why I'd make such a stupid mistake, can you rewind a death, by the way? You can. Okay. Let me just try and demonstrate here. Um, how do I how do I teleport to Devil Deal? I don't know the code for... Um, also, what is going on in here? There is a lot of... A lot of stuff not working. Um, right. Let me let me just try and show off what I was trying to do here. Because I feel like it should have worked. I feel like it should have worked. And I feel like I kind of got screwed a little bit. Um, if I go... How the hell do I get a... What, what's the card called? Joker card. Spawn. Joker. Um... Three point five hundred point one. Is it? Is it not that? Five point three hundred point. Yeah. Point. I have no idea what a Joker card is. Let me see if I can find out on the wiki really quick. The wiki quickie. Um. Let's do a wiki quickie. Go Isaac wiki cards. See if I can find this out because it should sit down here. I think. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Joker, where are you? Joker is 31. Okay. Right, let's see if this 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 still works the same way. Okay, it does. Right, so, let's see if I can do this again. 
There you go. That is that is what I wanted to do. That is how that should have gone. I don't know if you... Okay, by the way, I know that I've literally just revived myself and cheated the fuck out of this run. I realize that. But I'm going to continue playing because I feel like the only reason I died then is due to a bug with the mod. Or I wouldn't even say a bug, but an oversight. Because... What it should do in that in that scenario, in my opinion, which obviously my opinion might not be correct, this might not be what the mod author intended, but it should split the items and not make you instantly pick up one of them options. Because if you go back and look, it made me instantly pick up the three soul heart version when my intention was to take the single soul heart version, uh, the single red heart version. Because I knew they were going to split into two halves and I knew one half would be cheaper. That's how I did that, but this spawned on top of me. So there should either be a cooldown period before you can pick it up again, or they should spawn further away from you, in my opinion. Anyways, after that just terribly cheated part of the run, I'm going to carry on. Because I, I feel like, for one, it's my video. Screw you. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. <laughs> but also, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Like, we're not... We're not uh, I'm not claiming to be a great player. I'm not claiming to have a big win streak. In fact, we had a minus eight, so I don't really, like, give a shit. Um, but also, yeah, I feel like that, that death was wholeheartedly unjust. I had a very solid plan. I knew it would work, and it did work, but I got slightly screwed over by um, the mechanism in which they spawn. So that might be something that is in entirely intended by the developer. I think I believe it's pre in the developer. Or it might be something that is an a niche oversight that can be remedied in the future. I would hope a second, but it could be the first. By the way, um, some some people have kind of commented... Ooh, this is kind of a saucy little room here. Some people have commented on um, the way that I give feedback. Some people seem to really like it a lot. I, I, I wouldn't even say... I, I haven't really seen anyone opposed to it. I've, I've had a few people think I am a bit too strict sometimes, or I, I think everything's overpowered. I've seen that comment a few times. But basically, the way the way my, that I think, I can, can, can kind of go over my thought process. And usually why I'm so, um, do you know, can we get these guys to run into these? Um, no, nah, I don't think we can. And why I'm so sort of for, um, so for my, my opinion, my point of view. It's not because I instantly think, oh, well, I'm a good player. I must be right. Everyone must do what I want. Seven seals. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's not, it's not as if I'm like, well, uh, I'm a good player, I'm a YouTuber, everyone must do exactly what I want because I'm right. It's not really that. It's more so that, for one, I feel like, um, I feel like my suggestions or, or like, opinions on balance or when things should be tweaked. And even, even if they do spawn from some amount of rage of me kind of getting annoyed, normally I try to keep my suggestions within the bounds of reality because I do, I like, I, I have, uh, I have programmed before. I have a good knowledge of, of how programming works generally. So I can kind of at least gauge what is plausible. I'm not going to suggest things that are completely out of the question or would take a ridiculous amount of time. Um, and also... I think that, um, I know I just said that my experience doesn't qualify me to, to give these, but I do also think that having a good amount of time played within, not within the game itself, but within modding, it gives me a little bit better gauge on what's right, what's wrong, or what can be good, what can be bad, and what things can be tweaked. I hope for the most part that most, most, um, mod creators that watch my videos understand that if I have a harsh criticism of part of their mod, it's rarely because I hate it or because I think they've done a bad job. It's more so that I think that, that their mod could be better if some of these changes were implemented. And a lot of the time, they they will implement a change I've suggested or something similar or even something completely different um, just spawned out of the fact that I said that something needs to be done. And it will improve the mod. And, and that's what I like to see. I like to see mods become more balanced. Um, just for the general, the, the general people, like, I, I sound like I'm being like some sort of dictator here. I mean, like, for just, like, people that are playing the mod, not just myself. Um, this is pretty good. Ooh, dead bird. Also, I love the new locust sprites. They look very good. Health up there's rather nice. Check this out. Soul locket. Pretty good.
I do love Twisted Pear. Another reason I uh, I, I re redid this to, to show my point is, for one, I just wanted to show that what I was planning to do would have worked, but also I really like Twisted Pear and I was a bit bummed that it's the first time I've seen it in so long and then it was going to just take it away from me. I'm like, no, no, no. I need my Twisted Pear. Don't, don't you take it away from me. I would love to get flight and get a little gish there, but it is what it is. Can you stop making me go through this room, please, game? I really don't like that room. Oh, let's keep on moving. Yeah, so I think I think a lot of the time I can sound too harsh or too aggressive when I when I complain about a mod. I'll be like, oh my god, this really needs fixing. It's really stupid or whatever. But it all, at least in my opinion, at least from, from my side of things, it comes from a place of love. It comes from a place of just the love of the mod. And it's like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be complaining so much or advocating so much for change if I didn't like the mod a ton. I do agree though, I probably complain too much. <laughs> but I'll never change. I get slightly salty about something and then just harp on it for a while, which is exactly why I'm still talking about the subject now. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited because I'm going to go play some Peglin after this. And th that does sound a bit uh, a bit mean to little old Isaac here. I am enjoying playing this game. But Peglin, it's just another breed of fun. It's It brings me back to the days of playing Peggle with my girlfriend, which was just an absolute blast. And that game in general is just a blast. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Grab, grab. I'm not going to go to the dice room while we only have one key. Ooh, he's eternal. Ooh, I, there's so many eternal enemies where I'm just like, I have no idea what you do. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> Some of them, it's like they have very minor differences. Others, they like do stuff like that where they'll like do a spread shot on death or something. And those ones I'm never ready for. Never ready for. Right. We've got pretty low health, but as I said earlier, I am pretty used to it at this point. Because this guy just leaves Kree. I am pretty used to having low health with Judas. That's one of the things I like about playing as him. Um, I think I can strike a bomb down the alley there and uh, get myself a, a cracked key. I don't know where I'm going to use this, I'll be honest. but Actually, let's use it uh, here because then we can get into the uh, dice room for free. Beautiful. And it's our ultra secret room as well. How fun. How very fun. Yeah, it's nice to just use the, the crack keys to try and get into rooms for free. Not be able to not have to use a key or a bomb to like get into a secret room or a shop or something. So it's kind of good just for that, but getting the ultra secret room on top of it. That is tickety boo. All pedestals. There's also a card here. Let's grab that. I can pop this and just see what we get. Sadly, it's not a pedestal that I really want. Um machine that I really want, sorry. Ooh, baby, I love your way. Good old yum heart. Good old yum heart. In fact, we do have a four room. So, the, do you know what? Yum heart might not be so bad because we do have a four room. We can uh, check our pedestals. I think we should do all, everything, including the boss, and then come back. Oh, you get out of here, you. Remember when um, they first added uh, seven seals and it was bugged and it just didn't. It just gave you blue flies instead of locusts. Like, the mod version, the one that came from Steam Workshop, that it, said that it was adapted from, gave you locusts. And then when they added to the game, it was just blue flies, and everyone was like, um, why? I will definitely take piercing. 100% take piercing. It's very good with what, what we've got going on right now. Ooh, baby, I'm not a fan of that. More pills for me, thank you. Oh, a balls of steel. Need to look for our, look for our shop as well, because we've got a lot of reason to utilize the shop here. PJs too? All I need now is a key. Okay, this guy does a mega boom, yeah. The ex explosion on that guy is redonkulous. Right, quickly just do this. Oh. Things are going well right now. It's Blur. We shouldn't have too bad of an issue with Blur. In fact, he should be pretty much annihilated very quickly. I'm not moving. <laughs> Blur, I ain't moving. 
Oh, no. Creatine powder is insanely good. Let's take that. Um... I think I'll take that. Just, I'm trying to take, I'm taking that, like, sort of under the precedent that I can hopefully get PJs this floor. Which I think is not incredibly likely, but somewhat likely. We should be able to get a key from somewhere. We've got our secret rooms to find yet as well. Okay, so there's our shop. Secret rooms, I'm not entirely sure. That secret room there. Damn you, game. <laughs> I'd like some keys, please. I say again. Damn you, game. Okay. So the second secret room, which honestly I'm not 100% sure where, where that would be. I'm going to guess over at the end here. Just looks very second secret roomy. It's not, okay. Right, let's go and reroll Yumheart. See what that provides for us. Could be great, could be terrible. Ooh, we could play that machine a bit, try and get a key. Good idea. What? Rerolls all pedicitons on the floor. Bitch, please. <laughs> I suppose maybe because it's a red room, it doesn't technically count as being on the floor, but that's that's pretty petty game. There's a key. I got a pretty fly and another pretty fly. Ah, oh, yes. There you go. Look. There you go. It's all worked out now. We've secured PJs, and we can go to the shop with a good amount of money. I think this was good work. And I'm very glad I went here. We also got a scratcher. Which gave us another scratcher. Gave us a glitch card. Which gave us a bunch of keys. I did lose something for doing that, but I don't know what it was. Let's not pretend we remember. Let's just go. Ah, there it is. We got it. We got it. Well, there's a soul heart there. You get over here, tombstone chest. And then, not that I need to save a bomb, but I, I can, so I will. Beautiful. Pethra, Yera. Kind of would have loved to have gotten the Yera first. I think... I, I'm, I'm going I'm going thingy, so I'll take the Yera. Right. That was a bit of a long floor. Bit of a long-winded boy, but we did it. Good stuff, good stuff. I think we've set ourselves up for a really good run here. The big F's on that room. Oh, there was a tinted rock in there. Oh my lord, the damage that has been dealt right now is incredible. I am certainly tempted by the left hand right now. Squidward's after me. I'll come back for that key, maybe. I say, knowing I won't come back for it if I don't have to. Oh, one of those spiders went straight into the blood bank. <laughs> um, ooh. Um, when entering a new floor, spawn two sacks. 
Um, spawn, uh, spawns a golden stack instead. Awesome. I've got the mod that adds more golden pickups, so that's pretty cool. We don't want to go this way, do we? So we do have to go back for the key. Ended up all working out. Yeah, uh, because I've got the, the mod that adds in golden cards, golden sacks, and golden super patrol bombs. Um, this now, because it's a golden version of the trinket, is going to give us a golden sack, which essentially works like a golden pill. And it's at the start of each floor, so it's going to be very, very useful. Okay. Chemical peel is pretty good stuff. I definitely still want to see my shop here. Oh my god, I love how like we instantly get to the blue loss damage cap here. Wait, what? There's more? Oh. Oh, one of the skulls was uh, eternal. He was spawning those. I did not realize that. I did not see that coming. But yeah, it's good to know that I can rewind deaths now. I never knew you could do that. Like, it's not, not something I'd, I'd see myself doing very often, I'll admit. Twisted Pair can be upgraded. This is, um, insane. Let me, let me go and see what they do, because that could be redonkulous. They're already insanely powerful, so I don't really know what their upgrades could do. They move closer to the player when they're firing and slightly extra damage. They align with the player's direction. Oh! That, do you know what? That is actually some very subtle but good upgrades. They don't seem ridiculously strong, but it does make it better, especially the align with player one. It's a subtle, it's a subtle increase, but it does, it just means it's easier to hit every shot on one enemy. Which I think is very good. Spawns to burn hearts, why not? Um, yeah, and we'll take that as well. That's another burn heart. Wait, what? Isn't burn heart and juice supposed to give you a burn heart? I thought it was. Maybe because I picked it up and went through a door, it didn't play out the second part of that item. The on pickup effect. I don't know. Strange. But anyways, yeah, them lining up with us is, is cool. I like that a lot. That's a really nice little, little upgrade for them there. Okay, no eternal mother. We've got a pretty like it's this is kind of a cool run. It's like kind of average, it's not anything super special. But we've got some good stuff going on. We'll definitely take Polaroid, especially because we've got Yara here. And we're just gonna try and move on. If I get enough health, I'd love to. Oh, so there's a golden sack. <laughs> <laughs> golden sack has a 10% chance to disappear when you pick it up. Literally disappears in the first pickup. Good, good. Thank you, Golden Sack. Ooh, a bunch of extra luck there. It's kind of crazy that they can that can appear in Golden Chests. That is a very strong item. Also, that's a lot of moolah. I, I think I'll do Hush this run. I think I'm in the mood for a Hush fight. Why can't I open this chest? This one was reflected, now it won't open. Um. I think we're better off with this, you know. The damage is nice, but homing on a boss fight, I feel, is so much more important. Damn it, companion cube. I don't even know, why is Companion Cube in there? Companion Cube isn't a ghost type item. Strange. I'm more confused because that's one of my mods, so... Something uh, me and Pedroff did broke. Well, something Pedroff did broke because I didn't code any of it. It's just my idea. <laughs> <coughs> Strange. Oh god. My throat's a little raspy. It's a big boy. I don't know if I've been going the right way or not here, so I don't know if any of this path is going to end up being correct. God, our fire is so good with this uh, movement thing we got going on. 
The more we move, the higher I fire it. <sighs> Gotta deal with this shithead. Just hook up your ass. Thank you. We're good. I'm just trying to non-stop keep moving. Always be on the move to keep my fire rate up. Which is pretty good when you have this many tiers. You, you, you can stay on the move reasonably okay. Oh, this is an XL floor. I didn't realize. Yeah, with all these tiers, I think homing is uh, incredibly important. You can see the boss armor on these guys taking effect here. They're definitely taking a bit of damage. They are also dead. Black Sack. Unfortunately, not really what we wanted. Right. Just go back and forward to keep our fire rate bonus at least somewhat alive. It's kind of dying slowly. Don't worry about it too much if it dies off a bit. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Okay. Ah, god damn it, that was a stupid hit. Okay, let's go do hush. I think we're in, in a good setup to do hush here. I didn't come down with enough keys though, I will say that. Golden sack. G golden sack? Why? Is is it not I just I think it's just not working correctly. Okay, so we know that there's an item in here. Let's grab that. Driftwood's good. We'll take that. We'll take you. Rift would get upgraded. Wait, does Big Chubby get upgraded too? Damn it. Okay, in we go. Push shouldn't be too bad here. We don't have great HP. Always oh, eternal. Oh, Lord. That could add some complications, but again, I don't think we should have too many issues because we have a lot of damage and we have homing and stuff. Waspel's doing good damage. Even the first phase here is causing us some trouble. I do love fighting the eternal bosses though. They are they are a lot of fun. Because it's just something different. Something something unique. Which I always love to see in Isaac. Okay, so from, from I think I fought this guy once before. From what I remember, his attack patterns don't differ too much. There is some like new additions and like some faster tiers and stuff, but for the most part, the ways in which you've got to dodge are pretty similar. Okay, the flies are good because flies mean damage. We get a lot of damage for killing the flies. Okay, we're managing to do good at dodging right now. Like, I think very good so far. I don't know when the really hard attacks start coming out, though, because it might be below 50% HP. Starts doing some real naughty stuff. Okay, more of these guys. These are eternal as well, so I don't know what they do. They might fire at us. Be careful. We've got up to maximum damage now, I think. Which is very good. Okay, so continuum attack is still here. He seems to... Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. He changes direction so you can't just sit in one spot. That's a really good way of making that attack harder. I do want to move to the other side of the screen because I'm a little feeling a little claustrophobic right now. But I don't think now's the best time. I think we strike now. There you go, yeah. My Driftwood buddy's doing good too. My Chompy boy's getting in there. I'm going to actually fall him. There you go. Not too bad at all. Managed to get a nice little flawless on fucking Eternal Hush. I feel that's pretty good going. Okay, no, it's not broken. I just got really unlucky the other few times. There you go. It must it must be a higher chance to disappear, actually. It must not be 10%. It must be like 20 or 30%, something like that. Yeah, that room was a bit evil. But yeah, I think having saved all of that health in the hush fight and not losing any has, has 
put us in a very good position because I think if we'd have lost a lot of health there, some eternal bosses on the last floor could have really changed our tune. And I think we've, we've put ourselves in a pretty good position for that not to be the case. Having piercing against those guys is so nice. We want to keep f uh, eight keys, which I honestly I'm not sure if we're going to have. Oh, God. Um. Oh, okay. I was like, how the hell am I meant to do this room? But you're pretty cool. you got to make them kill, kill themselves, which is kind of fun. I know that's a sentence that you shouldn't hear from anyone, but it is. It's, it's something you've heard today. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this just for the additional keys. I think we need them. Need to try and get eight before the next floor. Oh, God. I lost my burn heart. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Try and use my herming a little more often for rooms that are a bit more difficult. Oh, my God. I'm not getting any room drop keys. Or any elites that drop keys, either. More sort of hoping for. Ooh, that guy's pretty good. And a balls of steel as well. Okay, that was... Downright incredible there. Might have even been worth using my Yera there just for all the health, but I suppose we've got ourselves near to full off of that, so we don't need the, the extra that much. It would have got us guaranteed to full, but looking at like the situation we've got here, we don't really need that. We've got another soul heart right here, look. So we've got five keys already. We're three off of uh off of the ideal amount. Just because then we've got enough to pick up every single uh, chest with Yera. This is actually Oh, wait. The, 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 the trinket that popped out that chest was not the trinket that was shown from uh, Guffy's eye there. I was like, this is a really good trinket, and then it was a completely different trinket. To be fair, the golden sack could provide us with enough keys on the next floor. I didn't think about that. Sacks often contain keys, so... Speed up. Nice. And then I think we get in there with our homing. And this guy, we've we've had a lot of strife and a lot of trouble with Isaac recently. He is just a much harder boss when he has boss armor. But he's he's not so bad. Especially when he's slowing all the time like he is now. And we've got like a ridiculous amount of tears with Herming. He's going down. He's yelling timber. But yeah, I'm going to record some Peglin after this, and then I'm going to go out, and I, I've actually been doing something that some of you may disapprove of, but I've been playing some Pokemon Go. I, I loved it when it first came out, and I've re recently wanted to be getting out more, so I'm playing Pokemon Go, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. A lot more than I'd expect I would have had. The Yera. Oh, Yera to the Golden Sack. Oh, please, yes. Three keys, okay. So... This is interesting. It's like changing what's in the con the contents of the chests as we go through here. Oh my god, it's just lying to me. It's just straight up lying to me. Do you know what? For the most part, though, pretty good stuff. I was definitely hoping for Cricket's body out of that, but... It offered it to me and it took it away. But the bugger tears, as you can see... Pretty incredible. The rate at which we're sticking these is uh, incredible. Oh my lord. They're skating around like crazy. Tractor beam is pretty incredible too. Yep. Tractor beam is always good with any ability to shoot more shots. But... Even better when you have, like, bugger tiers and stuff, because you can just stack them up. Um, Reroll a familiar crown. Nah, I'm okay, thank you. Give that as well. Oh my god. The damage. The sweet, sweet damage. Kind of weird that we got a chest that gave us Mr. Mega after killing those guys, after killing Wrath. Like, how does Herming even work with Tractor Beam here? It kind of negates it a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, it's fine. I don't mind. I gotta take it. Spider baby. Gimme, gimme. Oh 
Oh my god. Yeah, I think uh, I think Blue Baby's gonna go down pretty quick. The amount of bugger tears we're landing right now, it's insane. That that thing didn't die. I do I do forget that the horse thing now has a uh, boss armor, so it can survive a little bit more than normal. But still. Yeah, you're about to get stuck with a lot and a lot of bugger tears, my dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna cover you head to toe in them. Remember when bugger tears used to just last forever? Now they only last for 10 seconds, and that's still a ridiculous number. Before these just used to be infinite and never fall off. But yeah, look at that. He's just like he's just got like this cancerous lump sticking out of him. Poor fella. We'll put him out of his misery. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. I realize it was a back from the dead run, but I think it was valid. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.